What's up there VC, Sid, uh, on a cool Monday morning, uh, it's like in the 50s out here this morning, uh, the first full day of fall, um, definitely cooler weather starting to hit, so that's nice, um, I like summer, I hate winter, uh, so fall is just going to be just right for me, so I'm looking forward to it, so anyway, this is going to be, uh, what is this part three yeah part three of the uh, auction breakdown um, the stuff I pulled out for myself and the stuff uh, um, I pulled out to sell separately on eBay um, so this is vinyl video number three uh, auction scores vinyl video number three so we'll get right into it uh, this first album is Pretty interesting. This is Tennessee Ernie Ford uh, with the San Quentin Prison Choir. Uh, since I saw this, I just chuckled to myself and I was like, oh, all right. Um, last time I knew about something done at San Quentin was uh, Johnny Cash. So I gotta tell you, all these prisoners of San Quentin that were there, uh, they got to meet Tennessee Ernie Ford and Johnny Cash and Man, maybe prison ain't such a bad idea. I'm just kidding. So that'll be interesting to listen to, I think. Uh, then we have David Fry, I Am the President. Uh, this is comedian David Fry. Uh, I believe he is an impressionist as well. I um, like the cover a lot. I uh, don't really know much about David Fry. So I figured I'd grab it and set it aside and give it a listen. On the Electro label, is that, what's the year? Doesn't have the year. I wonder what the year is on the Tennessee Ernie Ford album. I probably have to pull the record out because I don't see it on either one. But pretty cool. Then we have the Union Gap, featuring Gary Puckett. Uh, it's got Woman Woman. Which is also the title of the album. Very, very cool. Um, spine's got some damage there, but still pretty neat. Then we have Smurfing Sing Song. Another Smurf album for my wife. Uh, it's another one that she also had, but was sold with her Smurf collection, so she's got that back. Uh, this was interesting. This is Teen, a pop rock musical by Roger Emerson and Richard Derwingson on the Jensen label. So that's kind of an oddball thing. Uh, it's definitely for eBay. Then we have... This is Paint Your Wagon. And it's music from the soundtrack. Really nice artwork on the album cover and on the inside. Uh, it's still got, still got the booklet here. What is that Lee Marvin that's in this film? Let's see. It looks like Lee Marvin. It doesn't say who's in the cast. There it is. Lee Marvin, Clint Eastwood. So, very cool. Never seen the movie. I figured I'd give it a listen. And finals in nice shape. So there's that. Then we have um, gospel group, The Plainsman. Uh, you guys might have seen some of uh, the Stamps album, which I believe were the Plainsmen at one time, and then they became the Stamps. I'm not positive on that, but they're out of Wichita, Kansas. And their stuff sells pretty good on eBay. Um, got another Ozarks Country Jubilee album. Um, so I'll probably package it with the other one that I showed you guys and do like a little lot on eBay. And we got the Mamas and the Papas. This is Farewell to the First Golden Era on the Dunhill label. 
love me some mamas and papas. Okay, then we have, this is one of two similar albums. This is Animals and Other Things by Candle uh, with the Agape Land Singers. This is kind of a weird 60s children's type thing here. Comes with the booklet. As you see, this is from 1974 from the International Bible Society. This is a religious record. Kind of a weird 60s, 70s era religious record. What's that? And it has uh, the lyric sheet here. So beautiful artwork on the, on the drawings on the inside here. I hit the camera. Uh, I really like the artwork. So I'll probably package this together with the other one, which I think is in this box, but I'm not sure. Uh, another Johnny Cash album. This is The Christmas Spirit, Johnny Cash. I'm going to have to do a separate video of my Johnny Cash collection because I have quite a large one uh, on vinyl, cassette. I don't have any 8 tracks. I don't know. I just don't buy 8 tracks because I have no way to play them. I probably should pick them up as I see them. If I ever saw like heavy metal 8-tracks, I'd buy them because those are pretty rare finds. Um, the Doobie Brothers, One Step Closer. Alright, and we have... So this is an oddball album. I've never heard of these guys before, but I'll show you why I kept it back. Uh, this is Souvenir by Dino, Desi, and Billy. I believe that's Desi Arnaz Jr. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, but as you can see there, it says this album contains five cutout photos of Dino, Desi, and Billy. Perfect for your wallet, for your own frame in your room. And it does have the photos. right here uncut and everything so we just don't see that too often Let's see if I can see a year on this I'm sure it's from the 60s and the reprise label uh, I don't see a year that's got to be 60s everything looks to be in great shape too They're, they're a pop band. Okay, this is one of two albums by Al Crocker Evangelist. This is something beautiful. And researching his albums uh, on eBay, they they seem to sell pretty well. And this is Contented by Al Crocker. So I figured I'd package these both together and put them on eBay as a lot. Uh, we've got a couple comedy albums for Bill Cosby. This is Wonderfulness. The jackets are really messed up though. I'm going to have to repair that. I used to have both of these, but sold them, so now I got them back. Here's the other one, Revenge. Some more Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. This is their Christmas album, of course. All right, another kind of a blind buy here, or blind buy, blind set aside, I guess. Um, this is the Vogues, uh, their greatest hits album. So, give this a listen. I like most 50s and 60s music, no matter who it's by. Uh, we have 14 giant dance hits. This is Disco Partay. Non-stop music, people. Uh, this will probably be going on eBay because I'm not a disco fan. But you got James Brown's Sex Machine, which is a good song. Um, Chacachas, Jungle Fever. Whoa. There you go. Peppers. Uh, most of these names I don't know. Got Barry White on here though, Millie Jackson. 
So this is from 73. Well, this will be going on eBay. Uh, and speaking of the stamps, here's another one of them. J.D. Sumner and the Stamps, Vintage Gospel. Check them out. So I'll probably put all the Stamps albums up as a lot on eBay. This is just an oddball thing I set aside. This is the Bonnie Pitt Laddie, the High Level Ranters. Uh, Harry Boardman, Nick Gowan. National Union of Mine Workers, a Miner's Life in Music and Song. It's a gatefold. Uh, let's see here. There's the vinyl. It's made in England. 1975 on Topic label. Excellent condition. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Um, it's got the cool kind of record sleeves. Um, it has the, you know, the clear see through vinyl, or whatever. I must sound really stupid in my videos, guys. I apologize for that. I'm really not that stupid. But two records set here. I know nothing about it. Probably some kind of musical, theater musical or something, I don't know. I just went ahead and set it aside. Great artwork here. Um, so I gotta do some more research into it. If anybody knows anything about it, let me know in the comments, please. Alright, then we have 2001 a Space Odyssey on MGM Records. Nice gatefold here, a little damage right there. Very cool. Any kind of science fiction or horror soundtracks. Back cover is great. I usually keep those. Okay, then we have this album here, My Blue Heaven by Gene Austin. Um, I looked this album up on eBay and it's actually selling pretty well. It's from 1962. Jacket here is in outstanding condition looks like it's got its original sleeve on the inside the vinyl looks great so this will be going on eBay got some more mamas and the papas must be their, a self-titled album here on the, again on the Dunhill label then we have Charlie the Hamster teaches Bible stories from Sunshine Music. Sunshine Music Mountain. So that's an eBay item there. Then we have The Gospel 3 with Alvis, an album worth looking into on Calvary Records. That's for eBay. Alright, here's the other album from Candle. Uh, this is Nathaniel the Grublet by Candle with special guest Dean Jones. And this has even better artwork. This is more comic book style. Just beautiful. Uh, copyright Agape Force 1979. Illustrations by Mark Pendergrass. Holy crap. Okay. I was going to say the S word, but this is a religious album, so. I know Mark Pendergrass. I didn't know he did the, uh, the artwork for this album. I'm actually friends with him on Facebook. Huh. I have to let him know. That's pretty cool. So, and this has some inserts here. Uh, we got an advertisement thing here, and then we got a Hey Kids. Oh, they're both the same, okay. And here is the lyric sheet for this one. So very cool. I did not know 
My friend Mark Pendergrass did the art on this. That's very cool. this along here. Still got a lot to go through. The Fifth Dimension, the Magic Garden on Liberty Records. Then we got some Herman's Hermits. This is Hold On, music from the original soundtrack. Love Herman's Hermans. Herman's Hermits. I've got Peter Nooney's autograph on a CD. There's that one, and then we have Volume 2, The Best of Herman's Hermits. It does not have the autographed photo of them inside. And the jacket's really messed up, so I'll have to fix that. This used to belong to Jim Klein. Jim, you didn't take care of your records. Okay, Paul Revere and the Raiders. Just like us. really like Paul Revere and the Raiders. Again, I, I do have a signed photo of a later incarnation of Paul Revere and the Raiders. There's that one, and then we have Paul Revere and the Raiders Greatest Hits. Uh, it's supposed to include a souvenir book, which it does. That is awesome. And there it is. That is very very cool there's the record there is the vinyl All right. another band I haven't heard before this is the gentries gentry time this back of it, obviously, the jacket's pretty well toasted, but I think the record inside is in good condition. I have to clean it up for sure. There's the record. So that'll be do some cleaning as the tractor goes by. Sorry about that, guys. Another Paul Revere and the Raiders. This is Midnight Ride featuring Kicks. Again, the album's jacket's toasted, but I think I can clean up the record. The Letterman Spring. Big fan of Letterman. This is Pockets, Songs for Little People by Joe Wise. Um, he's a pretty famous poet. And I think folk songwriter. So that's going to be an eBay item there. This I got just for the subject matter and the title. David Rose and his orchestra play The Stripper and other fun songs for the family. Hell yeah. Gotta love an album like that. This is pretty cool. This is Whitney Houston's self-titled album. All her famous hits are on here. I got that. This will be an eBay item here. This is Don Husted, organist. The Lord's My Shepherd. And we have Leslie Gore. Uh, Golden Hits of Leslie Gore. Love her songs. Uh, it's My Party. Uh, it's Where the Boys Are. You Don't Own Me. Etc. Etc. I sent her an autograph request through the mail um, via her website. Her, her people there said if you send a SASE and a photo, she'll sign it and send it back. So. Hopefully I'll get an autograph from her. I really love her songs. Uh, another one for eBay. This is Country Gospel. GM Farley and the Foggy River Boys. 
Okay, this is one for eBay. This is The Metrics Are Coming. Ten Fun Songs for Learning the Metric System by Janine Brady. On the bright label. I think it's got a booklet and such in here. of it. That'll be eBay. This one's really nice. The Moody Blues. This is the Moody Blues. Nice gatefold here. Two record set. Love the Moody, Moody Blues. There's the record there. Really nice shape. From the Threshold label. We got a 12-inch single here from Cindy Lauper, She Bop. Alright, another Stamps album. This is live at Murray State University. Look at him getting down. Nice gatefold, obviously. Going on eBay. This will be eBay as well, Young Mormons Sing by Janine Brady on the bright label. Alright, so then we have the great Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. Uh, when the movie Old Brother Where Art Thou came out, I got big time heavy into bluegrass and I still love it. Uh, this is the second Bill Monroe bluegrass album I found in this auction lot. I showed the other one in the previous video. Unfortunately, it was a two record set and only had one of the records. So I was a little upset about that, but at least I had one of them. Uh, this is on the Vocalion label. I don't see too many of those. Uh, can't wait to listen to that. Uh, this is the only two bluegrass records I own. Is this one, Bill Monroe one and the other one. So, real happy to have those. Uh, this is the, I guess a musical, Debbie, Diary of a Mormon Girl, 1978 Embryo Records. Uh, this is also going on eBay. Book and Lyrics by Heather Young. I don't know if it has the book, I don't think it does. book. Let's uh, Here's the back of it. Just a couple more guys. And I got two of these. These are both going to go on eBay. This is the gospel group Kara, God's Joy. Um, this copy is sealed. They're out of Indiana. And this is the open copy here. Both of those. This is cool. This is Martin Carthy. Sweet Wivelsfield. Wiv Wivels? I don't know. On Gamma Records, 1974. I believe this is kind of uh, folk music here. Never heard of him before until I found this album, so give that a listen. This is a local group here. This is the Helmsman. Red Hot, this is a uh, gospel group on Morningstar Records. Still got the shrink on it. So this will be probably going on eBay. And last one, the best of Hudson and Landry comedians on Doré Records. They were pretty famous back uh, in the 70s. That's it guys, that's it for video number three, box number three. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you later on for part four. Later.